everybody this is Nia Boaz Feiler here um, first of all I'm speaking quietly because there's a sleeping beauty behind me secondly um, I'm sorry there wasn't any video for the last two weeks um, it has to do a lot with everything that's going on I was sick feeling much better and I was going through a lot emotionally uh, The journey that I'm on, you know, has isolated me a lot. And still, I'm a person that gives a lot of power through my work to people I love, to my clients, to my community. And I find myself, after long days, you know, still alone. And this is uh, this is the creature that, you know, um, replenishes and fills my chargers up. And I'm grateful for her. But other than her, there's there's very very little people of course there's you my community which give me a lot of strength and support and I'm grateful for it other than that I've been going through epilation and uh, electrolysis in my face and uh, massive electrolysis and laser treatments and my face was covered with scars uh, and burns and I just I, I couldn't bring myself to put tons of makeup on it because it would make it much worse and, and and make this video you know but I said hell you know I'm in this transition I'm in this middle ground between male and female really thankful you know that there's masks that cover up my face now so I could go outside if there weren't any masks I wouldn't show my face out the door you know but just being in this middle stage is putting you under so much stress and, and makes you so sensitive and having all these you can't see it but if I'm you know I don't want to go any closer but there's like full of small 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 scars you know like small scabs from the electrolysis if there weren't any masks I, I wouldn't walk out the door you know covering my face is a lifesaver um, but here I am, you know, with no makeup, in this middle stage, uh, doing this video for you, and thank you for bearing with me. I thought it would be brave, and, and that I should get myself under proportions, and, and, and continue, you know, and I'm not going away, you know, I'm not planning to. And further, I have good news, I'm going to make more videos, more kinds of videos, not only the weekly. Uh, passages in the sky but also teaching about astrology for free also um, talking about esoteric sciences and spirituality and I just want to give you more of me and a bigger picture than the time passages up above and I hope you're happy as I am about this decision um, another thing that's been bothering me is just staying afloat financially in the beginning of Corona I've lowered my prices 40 percent for my community hoping that uh, you know all the world would do the same and uh, of course my landlords didn't and uh, uh, corporations didn't and uh, people uh, providing us with food and drinks didn't so it's been harder you know working uh, double the time for the same money um, so I've decided to put up my prices next week they're going up so if you want to enjoy a session or uh, uh, you know a list for a course on zoom privately or with a small group in english uh, you're welcome to do it because in seven days prices are going up um let's talk about this week so this is a very intense week it's one of the culminations of intensivity of militant behavior of uh, rage through 2020 and we have to watch this black driving force within us you know that takes us down to this place where we feel injustice in some sort of way privately or publicly in our life and we want to act out in a way that would teach them a lesson that would correct this uh, anormality and this is the place where we could be cruel. This is the place where we could be violent. George, just stay with me. Stay with me a while. Don't leave me. I know I said that this baby behind me is the only one giving me love, but you give me love as well. Don't walk away. Anyway, so. Um, 
so we have to watch this aggression we have to watch this <coughs> intensivity obsessivity power struggles ego getting hurt and, and as I said this this feeling that I'm gonna I'm gonna educate these people I'm gonna educate that person or I'm gonna set things right um, because this could make us too forceful and too intense astrologically I'm talking about the square between Pluto Aries and Lilith black moon Lilith squaring Pluto this week exact on Thursday um, Sunday the 9th we have uh, Mercury trining Chiron it's a sensitive day with communication it's okay for healing with if, if our communication is healing communication but we have to watch it because the moon is also squaring Pluto Saturn and Jupiter earlier and that could really cause our emotions to spill over and, and get the better of us it's not the logical frontal cortex that is in charge so much as our limbic system back there um, Monday the 10th has a very vibrant electricity to it Mercury squares Uranus exactly um, it gives this electricity both to Sunday and Tuesday it's a time where epiphanies could come through new ideas new concepts new ways of navigating through this universe and communicating with others around us it's a time for an update but the bad thing about this transit is that we can all become very intolerant and, and non-conformist and that's something as I said we should watch Tuesday carries the same kind of atmosphere um, however the evening Eastern European time looks already much better so does Wednesday the 12th Wednesday the 12th is actually a great day to take things forward at work or with your career to rely on that inner strength remember it as your diamond and source of power at that time so that again beware of the intensivity that I was talking about before because the day after Thursday the 13th that's the exact square between Mars and Pluto and as I said Mars is conjunct Aries the goddess of mischief and uh, the black moon Lilith <coughs> so um, Friday the 14th is actually a wonderful day it's a wonderful day to do things that are creative and to actually channel the intense uh, energies that I was talking about uh, of the day before into a more creative outlet a more positive outlet uh, Saturday the 15th Uranus starts retrograding and we could see a shift with all the rebelliousness that we could see in the world and I want to say here this is a time to believe in love this is a time to know to which camp you belong this is a time to rule out violence and deviation this is a time to go towards unification and forgiveness and walking together if you need remember JFK remember the Kennedys in general remember uh, 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 Martin Luther King R remember um, Nelson Mandela remember Mahatma Gandhi remember the people that changed the world through their grace not through their hammer in a sense this is not a time to push verdicts on people with different opinions than yours this is a time to make bridges you know this old saying uh, apart we fall together we rise is so true of course I'm not talking about you coming together at least not less than six feet or two meters but uh, I'm talking about coming together mentally emotionally understanding that we are one global community and choosing love and light and non-violence not letting yourself drift towards this violence and this week my friends is a challenge this week is a test for each and every one of us and may we prove successful oh good morning this is the time to end the video and just saying that there's many queen conxes that are showing up next week 
and if we want if we don't want to be sorry for being too intense and aggressive next week we need to watch ourselves this week both publicly and and uh, personally because violence can erupt as I said this is a militant time I want to thank you for bearing with me for sharing these videos for giving me so much strength this is Nias Fighter wishing all of us may we live long and prosper.